no matter how many spaces you give when you compile the map there only one space will be taken so to indicate that you are giving a space what you do is they just put a backslash and then a space and then a space between all the variables and then you should and then um, this should be fine delta and after this delta yeah there now if I run this there you have it now you see there is a space between them and to ensure that there is space I give like 5 to 6 spaces between beta and gamma so see how what happens to the spacing between beta and gamma there you have it now they have an adequate amount of spacing between beta and gamma okay that's about spacing now let's look about functions now uh, in fun uh, well, all the functions available in LaTeX, okay, that we use in mathematical notations, okay, they come more or less the same way as we pronounce it in English. For instance, if you want a log function, just type log, and that's it. So log of uh, b, okay. Now log of b. Now if you run this. What you'll have is the what you'll have is that you'll have log b. Now this is actually for, uh, okay, this is actually for base ten log without ten at the base. Okay, so let me write this. Okay. I'll, I'll just explain okay now this way it will be like a documentation okay now if I run this yeah this is base 10 log without 10 at the base okay so suppose if you want to uh, write natural logarithm natural logarithm what you use is that Within the dollar sign, use ln and then something like b. Your choice. Now, if you run this, ln b. Okay. Similarly, if you want, uh, if you want uh, non-standard logarithm, if you want a non-standard log function, what you need is that you need to go with uh, sorry, what is it? What am I writing? You need to go with log. You need to go with the log function as it is, but with the little uh, adjustments. How? You use I already used the, the kind of subset notation and everything. So let's see log underscore, and let me write something like eight to the base uh, to the base. Uh, base 8 right so let me put this as 64 log uh, 64 to the base 8 is actually 2 ok now if I run this there you have it log 8 to the base log 64 to the base 8 now this 8 is under the suffix thereby giving us the notation that is a non-standard logarithm so if you want to write like that it's had to go with this and also we saw how to make square roots and square uh, how to make square roots and function over here so let me cut this up okay this becomes a part of the section over here but it's not a section it's actually a subsection so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to type as you b subsection and these are logarithms right and these are a part of the function so I'm going to write another subsection section and then here what I'm going to do is logarithms okay that way there you have it you have subsection logarithms fine now next thing what we look at is that uh, we saw how to make uh, uh, did we saw how to make fractions at the top? No. Okay. We'll come to the fractions part in. Fra we'll come to the fractions part in a second. Uh, 
similarly we saw roots and similarly let's go to trig function trigonometry functions right now uh, subsections trigonometric trigonometry okay sine function if you want if you want the sine function as uh, sine function and everything so what can be written is that uh, let me just remember the uh, identity um, sine of a plus b equals okay I'll just write this normally and you'll you'll see the difference. Sine A sine A uh, cos cos B plus cos A sine B. Okay. Now this is without any notation. If you look at it, yeah, it looks it looks pretty fine isn't it it looks pretty fine okay uh, on the other hand what I do is that let me just copy all this contents copy all this content and then place it at the bottom and the only thing is this time I will be indicating the backslash sim the backslash sim symbols over here uh, now you'll see this you'll see as uh, you'll see a phenomenal difference over here okay now what you see is that now uh, um, let me just run this up now what do you see now all these let now this is actually pro this is actually proper now this is when you write the sine function because when you write where uh, functions uh, inside uh, mathematical notation they are not slanted they are not slanted whereas here in the first case they are actually slanted which we don't usually prefer but the function name should not function should not slant okay and and this is what happens over here okay this way you are able to write sine function cosine function tan function like that you can write tan function as well so and if you want to write hyperbolic functions you can do uh, that as well okay uh, something like uh, uh, secant h sorry h okay secant h uh, c okay now if I were to compile this undefined function secant h um where did I, what am I missing? Um, it should, it should come, it should come nice, right? Uh, okay, I think it's because I should, I forgot to put them in parentheses like, did I forget to put them in parentheses like this? Is that the reason? I okay, the second hex card kind of completely went away let me just check this out I think I'm missing something here uh, okay um, similarly this in flower brackets now if I write if I write them in flower brackets okay uh, just just a thought now we wrote the entire stuff in the thought from flower brackets um let me delete this for a moment now yeah now we see when we grow them in flower brackets the the brackets are gone okay so that's the kind of a difference you have to keep in mind okay and okay now let me just 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 check this out uh, let me just try this normally so that you guys can see feel the difference yourself I guess I guess he can X is not available I guess I'm not sure um, running this it looks it looks fine 
Okay, like that. If suppose if you want to write car sex, I guess it's possible. And uh, car sex, yeah. A. Okay, like that. Suppose if you want to square it, what you do is that you just put the uh, power over here and then write it. Now if you do this, if you do this. It's okay. It's like this. So what you do, um, what can be done here is cause uh, put the p uh, put the power over here like this. Now if you do that, yeah, there you have it. The power comes kind of nicely. Okay, you just have to make an adjustment over here like that. Now we saw now this way you're in a position to write trigonometric and hyperbolic functions. Now let's do something a little more uh, uh, simple not, not a little more simple a little more fundamental fractions now uh, in this part over here we did deal with the uh, kind of fractions over here like while we write this linear advection equation uh, any direction equation and we'll writing the math uh, writing the square uh, root of uh, quadratic equation over here we use fractions okay now uh, the fractions part has two components the function has two components the first part is actually the numerator and second part is actually the denominator okay now what you can do is that uh, let me let me just type this again section fractions okay if I were to write fraction uh, 4 and 5 4 comma 4 5 the fraction comes out to be nice but it's puny okay what if you, you can write and you can write the same fraction okay okay like this 4 5 okay if I run this what you see is that you get the same fraction not a problem okay but it's always better to write them in parentheses because it that will give us an indication as to which part is the numerator which part is the denominator naturally even if you don't give the parentheses it as in the previous case it worked but it is not recommended unless otherwise unless otherwise you know they're just only single terms now this fraction part is fine but it looks not so good since this entire fraction is just within the one line so if I were to write a lot of contents 4 by 5th uh, uh, means you take take 4 parts of something 4 parts of something after it is divided into five equal parts okay now if you look at it look at it this is how it looks like now uh, to make uh, no, no, no thing what you can do is that uh, let me just copy paste this up now what you can do is that uh, to display them, uh, to display this fraction a little better, so that uh, it does not get congested like this, and it becomes a little bigger. Uh, there is this option called there is this option called as display style. Now, what does this display style does is that it makes sure that um, it makes sure that the entire content is written. Uh, kind of normally so if I run this part there you have it now this fraction is kind of expanded and it looks better okay it looks better now next thing now let's look at this ne next thing now let me uh, write let me go to the top and let me uh, copy this again do I need this okay let no 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 not this fraction uh, uh this one let me copy this and let me paste it again paste it here 
okay now the finite different finite forward and backward scheme finite the different scheme for linear 